One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. Yeah. This body, baby. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. And I'll give you all the things that nobody can. I'ma make you bounce. Good afternoon, good blessed Sunday afternoon to everybody. I'm fixing to make my version of a peach cobbler, and I'm using the Calhoun blend meal peach cobbler mix and also the Louisiana fruit cobbler mix and I got me two can of peaches lucky leaf peach filling Fruit feeling topic. Now the recipe said to pour it in the, and I'm gonna do that. But I like to kind of sweeten my peaches up a little bit and add uh, some uh, cinnamon sugar and some vanilla. I like to kind of pipe it up a little bit. But the recipe called for just to add your peaches in there. But I like I like to pepper my I like to sweeten mine up. So I'm pouring this in this pot. And they say juice and all. Heat your oven to 375. It's not going to take that long to, uh, to heat because I already I cooked me some Sazberry steak in the oven. So, I'm going to add me uh, I don't really have to measure, but I'm going to measure today. I made me one tablespoon of vanilla. No, I think I'm going to put two tablespoons of vanilla. Just to give that vanilla taste. And if anybody else make that peach cobbler and they make it whatever way they want to make it, but this is, this is how I'm going to make mine. I'm cutting some of my peaches up because I don't want no whole peaches. I was uh, going to make a uh, peach cobbling with the cake mix, but I'm going to do that another time. Because you can make a peach cobbler with the cake mix. But I didn't feel like doing it that way today. I might I might use that um that uh what do you call it? Cake mix for I might do me a, a apple cobbler. There I go, I'm gonna do me an apple cobbler. So now I'm gonna add me some Cinnamon sugar in it. I ain't gonna measure that I'm gonna pour it in here. Mm 
stir that around. And I'm not cooking it for it to borrow. I'm just cooking just to give it a little touch up. To get all the flavor in. Now, take a piece of pizza. Yes, it. Yeah, I can use, I can use just a little sugar. Like I say, I don't want it too, too sweet. Okay, I'm going to combine both of these, both of these piece cobbler mix. So I gotta add a uh, two third cup of milk. I'm adding a little more milk and I don't think there's enough on it. Sometimes you gotta add a little more something. Where it smooth out better. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming like I want. And you say make sure you smooth it out. Making sure all my lumps are out of here. Okay, I'm going to melt my butter. 
I'm going to use eight since I'm using uh, two packs. Ain't no hurry. Next time I make peach cobbler, I'm going to show y'all how I do it the old-fashioned way with the uh, regular. You make your own crust, but I know how to do it that way. So, next time, I'm that's how I'm going to show y'all the homemade crust. I ain't going to use the box peach cobbler meat. Like I say, I just went the easy way out today. Y'all know how that is. When you don't hard feel like doing too much. I hope y'all enjoy this. Like I said, this is my version. Everybody make peace top and different. Cause I make mine different too. I'm just going by the box, so. Everybody, each to they own, they do what they want. They do how they want. But I'm just showing y'all from, from that box to me. Okay, I got my butter melting. I'm going to pour it in this pan. She over here now, y'all. Mama be moving. Hold on. Because she ain't say move me oh, up. I got to get the paint. <laughs> See, if I, were, if I were using my own, uh, making my own homemade uh, dough, I have to read no instructions. Instruction. But this, this is my first time making one like this. Cause I like I say I already I do my homemade version, but I'm going to buy this. So they say pour batter over butter. So I'm going to pour pour this over my butter. Well, I hope this tastes good because I'm using the box, but it's not going to taste as good as my real homemade peach cobbler that my mama showed me how to make it. What? I don't know. And like I said, because I didn't, I wanted to go the easy way today. I wanted to try something for the first time. Everybody want to try something out the box sometime for the first time. 
Don't y'all? No, I do sometimes. But I like to make my own home and stuff. <laughs> Just gonna even it out a little. And no, that's not too much butter. But it's butter gonna melt through the peaches and the crust. I'm quite sure. I'm just spraying it out so the crust can be all over the those peaches when I'm finna pour in here. So when I pour the peaches in here, they say don't stir it because this mixture here is gonna come out with uh with the crumbs. Like I said, I hope it come out right, because this is the first time I made out the, out the box, so. I'm quite sure it's going to be good. Hopefully it'll be good. But I will be making my own homemade peach cobbler for y'all and my own homemade apple cobbler for y'all. Okay. But I just want to come on and show y'all this since I told y'all I was going to make one. Now. I'm going to add my peach mixture over this one, over my thing, and I'm going to put it in the oven, and this, this, um, the mixture, and that's how the, that's how it's going to come over the cake, over the peaches, so that's why they tell you don't stir, stir the peaches in that because they're going to make their own crust. And that was the box say. I'm going by with the box say. I think you're going to be good myself. Hopefully. And they just say arrange, so I'm arranging. Y'all see, I'm not stirring it in. I'm arranging like they told me to do. I'm finna put this in the oven for three seventy five. Is all my oven already set for forty to forty five minutes until golden brown. So I'm gonna check it when it hit. 40 minutes to see it's red because I don't want, I don't like it too, too, you know, too, too brown, but I like it done. So, we're going to see how it turn out and put the time on 40. And if it need me more when the, when the 40 uh, minutes cut off, I'll set it five more minutes. While mama was doing that, I was cutting up my strawberries because you can also put these on top of it or have it on you know whatever <laughs> we had got these strawberries so i was cutting them up i like to go in with a little sugar and then plus it'll give you the, it'll take out it'll give the natural juices out of the strawberries so they can put some of this on top of their peach cobbler if they choose to they can put it on ice cream they can put a little on a cereal or whatever they so choose to do and then yesterday i made this raw butter sauce for mama for her what you call it to go peach on top cobbler. of the peach cobbler also and I will be making some I will be making some when I get ready to make my bread pudding so I'm just gonna take this and warm this up I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave
And I made this yesterday. When I make my bread pudding, I will show you guys how I make this. But this is going to be like a glaze to go on top of it if they choose to. Or they, like said, they can put this on top of ice cream or whatever they choose to do. And I am going to show it to you guys. It's really good, y'all. I'm going to pop my microwave for a couple of seconds. And I, I, I love baking, y'all. So this will give me a good opportunity to bake me a whole bunch of stuff. Not just sweet, but you know other food. Since we have to be inside. So this will give me a whole lot of things I can do. Instead of being bored. I won't give you the whole spoon. Just take some off the spoon. <laughs> and also, you can you can leave this out. Like if you don't want to put it in the microwave, you can leave this out room temperature. And it'll melt. The only reason I'm putting it in the microwave is for purposes of this video. Oh yeah, I want that over. I want that over the uh, And I'm gonna use the same container. I want that over my peach cobble. That tastes good. But y'all will see us doing a, a lot of baking and cooking. Not back to back. Y'all know what I'm, I'm talking about. Not not back to back every day, but y'all will see more more cooking and baking since we inside. And that's it, y'all. And literally just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yep, 30 seconds just heated this up. And you can heat this up as much as you need to. It's nothing that'll go spoil or bad on you or nothing. I took this down so y'all can see. That's fine. And like I said, or you can let this sit out room temperature. And if you let it sit out room temperature, It will melt the same. Oh, and I forgot to add, I'm going to make me a, a blackberry dumpling. Since they sell blackberries in the store, I'm going to make me a blackberry dumpling. So while I see them, I'm going to get it and put it in the freezer. So when I get ready for it, I, I have it. So the only thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to take all the strawberries. I'm going to take some of the strawberries. And put some down here so I can cover the rest of these strawberries up. So for those who want the sauce and the strawberries on top of the fruit, it'll be in one container for them. And you can actually use this as a dipping sauce for your strawberries too. Uh, I'm asking y'all for prayers for my older brother. They had to rush him to the hospital last last night, so uh, we asking prayer for him. His name John Swanye. So we ask a prayer for him. But they did keep him. They, they kept him all night, so they're running tests on to see if you know what's wrong with him. So y'all just keep, keep uh, us and him in, in y'all prayers. He's my older brother. I had three brothers, but my my baby brother had died. What in ninety? I forgot the year. I think ninety. That's one guy hit by that. Big truck on Highway 90. 
So I got two brothers and one sister. So yeah, please keep us in y'all prayers. I know he got a bad heart condition and, you know, well, he smoked a lot <coughs> and then he got, his lungs are bad, so. That's why I say they're running tests on to see what's really going on with him. This is my Sarah Bear steak, what I made today. Just, uh, yeah. we got the brain. It's the box time. The banquet. The banquet. The box time. But I put it in over. We didn't make the we didn't make the homemade uh ground beef uh hamburger. And I put some green beans. I didn't put the potatoes in it this time. I used to put potatoes in. They don't feel like doing that. And this is my mashed potatoes. So we had Sarah Bear steak, mashed potatoes, gravy, and green beans. And I'm up to put this up in a container. And I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put all this in a container. So when we get ready to... After they, after rest, I'm gonna get through eating, and they done ate. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator. All of them. I think the only one who ate was me, Philip, and Rante, and Beyonce, and and Alicia haven't eaten yet. come back and show y'all the finished results if she put the strawberries or the um, rum sauce the butter rum sauce on there she'll show y'all that as well I'm about to go outside my little one, so I'm taking my camera. All right, y'all. Mama got her cobbler out. She's adding the strawberries. Came out like I wanted to with the top. See how I covered the top? So it came out like I wanted it. I should have had shown the top before I put this on here. They seen, they seen it before you put it on. But it came up like I came out like I want it. If you need some more strawberry, they got some in the fridge, but unless that's enough. That's enough. And that is the butter rum sauce that I made. That's going on the top. And when I make. When I make my bread pudding tomorrow, I will show you guys how I make the butter rum sauce. Well, you can just leave it in that container because I can use some of that. I mean, they're not going to need them more for the cobbler. I mean, I could have put it in a little container. Mm, you can leave it in that because I'm going to need I'm gonna need that for tomorrow when I get ready to make mine. So that way I won't have to be switching containers. Well, that go my ending touch, y'all. My version of box peach cobbler. And I put some strawberries and the topping on it. Alright you guys, there go the inside and she got her wrong
of butter rum sauce and her strawberries. As always, thank y'all for coming on. Watching me do my box peach cobbler. Like I say, next time I'm going to make your homemade one. But anyway, hit the like button if you like it. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Uh, keep watching us. Like I said, we're going to have a lot of more bacon. Oh, I told y'all what I'm going to pick some. Well, somebody might not be on it first time. But anyway, I say I'm going to make me a banana bread, uh, homemade apple cobbler, uh, blackberry dumpling, and uh, a 7 up sour cream pound cake. So since we inside, can't go much outside, I love baking and I will bake more stuff. Not just sweet okay. other, other food too, so. Thank y'all, I love y'all, and y'all have a, a blessed week. Stay safe, stay careful. And if you gotta stay, be inside, go inside unless you have to go out. Love you, peace and love. One time, one time, it's a bad man thing. This body, baby, V kills. Let's go. I'ma make you bounce like a hurricane. I'ma make your bed rock like a hurricane. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do it like nobody can. I'ma give you all the things that nobody can. I'ma make you.